Hello everyone, and welcome. I am JV with the Cyber and U team. Today we will be covering how to first establish a new disk partition and then enable volume shadow copies on our volume. What is volume shadow copy, or VSS? The simple answer is, VSS is a technology developed by Microsoft to take restorable snapshots of a volume. So let's get into it. The way we started off is by going to our file and storage services to create our additional volume. Click on disks. Right click on our available space, which is five gigabyte. Click next. It's not clustered, so we don't have any additional um, disks to select. Specify the available space, which is five gigs as of right now. Specify the drive letter. Since this is going to be our VSS volume, uh, good practice is to change it to the letter V. And then this is very important. So we'll keep the file system as NTFS, but we're going to change the allocation unit size to either 16K, 32K, or 64K. Uh, this is based off of the best practices by Microsoft. And the reasoning is, if you do not, the number of changes caused by defragmentation can cause previous versions of files to be deleted. And knowing that, we're going to go ahead and change the volume label to VSS. Next. And then this will create our new volume. We'll close out of this. Go to our file explorer. And as you can see, we have our C drive and our V drive. So now we'll go ahead and right click on the C drive where we want to enable the shadow copies and click on configure shadow copies. Now before we hit the enable button, we're going to change in the settings where it's going to save these shadow copies to. And we want to change that to the new volume that we had just created. So we're going to change this to the V drive. and here you can specify the limits. Um, as you can see, no limit, use limit. This just means how much of the space on that volume shadow copies is going to take up. Um, you don't want the entire volume to be filled up because it'll start doing some failures and some funky things. So we're just gonna keep it simple and have it down to about, uh, since we got five gigs, we're gonna keep it at 500 megabyte. It's about 10% of the available space. Uh, you can change that, but I think Microsoft also recommends between 10 to 20% of the volume um, just due to the failure. But if this is a volume specifically made for it, no limit should be possible. So you can also change the schedule as to how often you would like this to. Uh, take a snapshot of any changes that occurred. Um, so for this, we're just going to keep it every week. Hit OK. Hit OK. And it is enabled. So now, what we're going to do is actually go back in there again. Create now. And then we're going to go back into the C drive and delete this test file. As you can see, it's no longer there, but since we just created a shadow copy, we can go ahead and right click, hit properties, and in the previous versions, we should be able to see that we just had that snapshot taken. Open it up, and you can see the test file is right there. So if we would like to restore this file, you can either drag it over, copy it, cut it, whatever you would like to do. And now we'll close out of our shadow copy and or snapshot. And now as you can see, our test file is back in action. Um, this also says, for instance, if you have a file, you did some modifications on it, and then you didn't really like those modifications or somebody did something you didn't want them to do, um, if a snapshot was taken, before those changes, you can use that snapshot to restore the file to its old self. Uh, this does not take over file backups, 
but it is a good solution for quick and easy fixes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on VSS, and I hope to see you again.